Hey everybody, it's Kevin at Bear Creek. Uh, September 1st, 2019. Uh, I have to apologize. I know I haven't put out a video in quite a while. Uh, the commercial side has kept me very, very busy. We've been pulling honey for the last month and I've been working 12, 14 hour days. So not a lot of time. Days are getting shorter, colder. Um, so by the time I get home, there really isn't any time for me to really work my bees at all. So I haven't had an opportunity to, uh, to do a whole lot. Although I have been treating my hives. I pulled the honey. Uh, everybody's seen people pull honey. So I decided not to do a video on pulling honey. Um, but, uh, uh, one thing I did do, uh, started to do last night, um, well, uh, last week I pulled honey, or two weeks ago actually, I pulled honey, and then, um, but I left uh, some supers on, uh, on each hive, and uh, and that's because the goldenrod is still, still going strong here, um, so if they had any residual that they're going to store, um, I could catch a little bit of that as well. Um, but uh, so today or yesterday what I did at least at my home apiary was um, I took off the, the last of the supers fed them but uh, also with regards to that on the strong colonies I uh, took off uh, the bees that were on the supers and created a little bit of a shook swarm which is what this, if you uh, saw my videos earlier this spring, I made a couple of these uh, shook swarm boxes. And um, I used my, my bee funnel behind me um, to shake bees from the honey supers into this. I bring them back to the garage. Um, I treat them with oxalic vapor under a towel. Uh, and then I, uh, I, I put a little, little uh, candy on top of the screen and uh, shut them up overnight and then I'll use these these bees that I've collected um, to boost some weaker hives um, some weaker nukes weaker hives that I have uh, today I identified a couple of weak hives uh, I lost a couple of hives um, I lost one of my Michael Palmer Queens there ain't a bee in it um, gone there you there's a little bit of brood, cap brood, that they left behind, but it wasn't a strong colony anyways. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I had intended to put this shook swarm on it because I know I identified it as a weak hive, but unfortunately, that's 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 what happens. Um, another hive that was, um, I think it was a, uh, oh, one of those Minnesota hygienic queens. Um, also disappeared. It was a weak hive all year and uh, it just kind of dwindled down to nothing. So so that one. But I do have a, a weak nuke over there. A weaker nuke. That was from a uh, drone laying colony. Uh, still got a queen. Still got a laying. So I'm going to boost it with, the, with these bees. And then also what I'm going to show you today actually is um, I'm going to be um, taking two shook swarms off of two strong colonies and then I'll show you what I do uh, making the shook swarm so I wanted to just show you the bees in the box here uh, it's not a ton of bees by any stretch of the imagination but it will give a nuke a very good boost um, going into uh, fall winter uh, so that they can build up as fast as they can and uh, create a nice strong colony going into winter uh, what else we got going? Um, probably notice. Well, my uh, my jeans are are pretty dirty. Like I said, I uh, I've been pulling honey for the last month. Um, we use fume boards with Bego. Uh, it's butyric 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 acid uh, and a, a fume board. And I'm here to tell you that is probably the most uh, time consuming way to get bees out and collect your honey um, you can do one box at a time we put the acid boards on and you, know, you got to put it on for five minutes and then you know even then all the bees aren't out so you're banging the boxes trying to shake them out 
Then you got to put the box on again. If you have three supers, you got to do it three times to get the bees driven down. Um, and if it's not warm enough or it's not windy enough to get the action going um, down into the to drive the bees down, it really makes for a long day. I mean, um, you know, we're clearing a yard in three, three and a half hours, which creates its own mess. A uh, lot of robbing, a uh, lot of bee frenzy. It's just, you know, you see Ian Stepler and he takes his little, little uh, bee escapes out and does his thing and then his, uh, his mechanical uh, lift that pulls the honey supers off and he's in and out of a yard in a half hour or less. Um, like I said, ours is three hours. It just takes forever. And the workers are absolutely worn out from hauling 100 pound, or well, not 100 pound, but you know, 70, 80 pound boxes of honey out. Um, even the mediums are, are uh, 40, 50 pounds. Um, so it makes for a really long day, and then you string them all together, a really long week and really long months uh, to pull this honey. Um, you know, we got 40 yards and we're doing two yards a day. It takes forever. Anyways, that, that's a rant I didn't really want to get on, but uh, anyways, today what we're gonna do is, um, is uh, shake the bees out. Now, what I usually do is I use a bee escape and leave it on for a few days and the bees go down I pull my honey supers off and there ain't a bee in it. Uh, but because I want to take shirk swarms off, that's not what we're doing today. I'm literally just going to pull the honey supers off, set them on the lid, and then I'm going to pull out frame by frame and shake them into my bee funnel, which you saw uh, a video I, I did uh, making my bee funnel uh, and uh, into the, uh, the shirk swarm box. And... Uh, and then, I'll, like I said, I'll take you step by step as I'm doing it um, all the way. You go into my messy garage. Uh, I'm going to, you know, uh, treat it. Uh, you know, you could treat it with oxalic uh, a dribble, which would probably be the best way to do. Um, I didn't want to go that route. It was just simpler and easier to just cover it with a towel, put my vaporizer underneath it, vape, vape them uh, all, and then... Uh, Tip the hive, I tip the, actually literally tip the hive over and I put a little candy on there for the night. Leave them over there for the night. They calm down and uh, they kind of, then I can dump them into a, uh, into a hive. So anyways, let's get started. Um, really hasn't come along like I had hoped. I fed it last week, but, or oh, two weeks ago actually, but um, doesn't look, doesn't look very good. Doesn't look very healthy. Or very strong. There's my queen right there. You can see her. This is a Michael Palmer queen, actually. There are no eggs in here. Not a lot of eggs. A little bit of cat brood here. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 
no pollen in here either that's what I forgot actually was pollen okay well I got a queen I got some cat brood in there I think they need a boost of bees and some food so that's what I'm gonna give them Jesus Christ. Okay, just spraying the paper with a little bit of water, makes it easier for them to chew. And then, uh, I'm gonna spray the bees down a little bit, a little bit of water. Makes them a little bit easier to handle.
All right. So there we go. You see all the bees down the bottom. Now I'm just gonna put the top on, and they will they will uh, take their time and combine with the hive below. And uh, a little later, a little later, I will come back and. Uh, I'll install the uh, I'll install more frames if uh, if the colony uh, uh, does uh, come back a little bit, but uh, for now that should be a pretty good boost for this uh, this little nucleus colony. Okay. This is a good can candidate for a shook swarm. Not a ton of bees up here, but enough. And I only do it this method if there's really no no uh, robbing going on. Um, if there was robbing going on, I wouldn't leave it on, and I definitely wouldn't stack these up like this. I'd have a spare box ready. 
But as it is, they're bringing in lots of uh, goldenrod today. And uh, and as you can see, there's Okay, and that's it. I'm just going to give this a little heft just to see how heavy it is. It does need a little bit of feed on there. I'll have to feed it at a later time because I don't have a feeder for it right now. Okay. So we didn't get a ton of bees, but we got a few. You can kind of see that. Probably, oh, I don't know, a pound maybe. And then uh, we're going to go over here and see what we can do here. Doesn't look like there's anything up here. And like I said, I already took honey off of all these, so uh, that's why there's probably not much honey in here.
damn it. here was an overwintered colony and uh, man it only had a hundred bees and a queen uh, at the end of winter and uh, I coaxed the hell out of this hive all year long and uh, she has actually come back extremely strong which was really really nice to see Okay, this is all I want in this one. Okay, this is all I want in this one. So I'm going to uh, pound them down, slide the nails, and install the lid. and then stick them somewhere in the shade. And then I'm gonna get this one ready. I got a nail put on so that in case it tips over, oops, and I got a nail on so in case it tips over, the funnel stays. Okay.
And I'm going to spray some water on it. I should have done this before. I did it before. And it gets them to just drop in a little bit easier. Much, much easier. This is all foundation. Just wanted to see if they draw it out and they haven't even started yet, so. And again, just to reiterate, all I'm doing is collecting bees to boost some weaker colonies. That's it. That's the whole reason behind it.
Okay. There we go. There's my second shook swarm right there. So, pretty good number of bees. Probably, you know, a pound, pound and a half, something like that. It'll give a nice boost to a, to a weak new, new colony. Well, okay. There is one more here. Boy, I got a lot, of, a lot of them that came out of there, didn't I? That was dumb. Okay. Uh-oh, we have a problem. That was not good. That was dumb. That ain't good. Uh, shit. This is what can happen. Somehow I got the queen upstairs. Don't know how that happened, but I just dumped that frame out, and I don't know. Oh, I got a queen upstairs. That ain't good. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. That sucked. Can't do that.
That's the danger. Should have looked before I did that. Damn it. Well, it's got supersede your cells down below here. Saving grades will be if there's eggs in here somewhere. Damn good queen, man. Damn good queen. I do have lots of larvae in here. Young, young, young larvae. So I hope the queen, I may have had two, oh, there she is actually. Good deal. Well, I might have had a queen, uh, there she is actually. I might have had a queen, two queens, you never know. But uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and and continue this right here.
Schwartz. So I hope you take that as a lesson learned uh, to check the super to see if there is any larvae and make sure that you don't throw a queen into the shook swarm box because that would ruin everything for you. Okie dokie. So again, what I'm going to do, since there's brood there, I have to put that back and uh, hopefully that queen excluder uh, is okay. And uh, I know the queen is downstairs, at least the queen that came with the colony is downstairs. And uh, what I'll do is, uh, you know, I'll wait. Oh, you know, uh, there was no larvae up here, which was good. So I'll probably wait like 15 days, fill it or whatever. I'll shake it out and and then pull pull that honey super, and then uh, and everything will be downstairs. Since I'm leaving it, it's honey. I don't have to feed it. this. Alright. Let me spray this. Spray the bees. Okay, now that's a really good size shook swarm right there. That's about the size of a three pound package. Okay, let's take our shook swarms back to the house and uh, I'll throw a little treatment on them, put them to bed, and, uh, and then we'll find hives for them in the morning.
And that's all there is to that. Okay, so I made up some of this candy. Uh, all it is is honey and powdered sugar. And uh, just roll it. And uh, if, you, uh, if you don't get it really, really saturated with powdered sugar, it can actually go gooey on you. So get as much uh, powdered sugar into it as you can to make it like Play-Doh uh, so it's not sticky whatsoever on you. Uh, and then uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll stick it on the hive. Um, funny thing, after I turned off the camera, I had forgotten I had two two frame nukes out and uh, I had honestly thought that uh, um, they were both really really weak and uh, but both were creating queen cells never really paid much attention to them because um, I thought that uh, neither one produced queens and uh, I just checked them uh, on the way in and both had um, had queens. There wasn't much for brood because they're just there's like 50 bees in each in each nuke, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these shook swarms, and uh, I'm going to install those two frame nukes into five frame nukes, and uh, uh, put these shook swarms on top of them and uh, give them a lot of feed, and uh, hopefully that'll stimulate the queens to start uh, start brood production. So hopefully uh, hopefully that'll work. Okay, now you want to put them in a cool place. Um, I've got, got them in my garage. It's not, it's uh, September 1st. It's getting cold at night, pretty cold at night, 50s. Uh, so that's a nice, cool place, my garage. It's only 70 some degrees today. Uh, my garage is, is cool. Uh, you wouldn't want it in there if it was a 90 degree day, obviously. You want, want it a little cooler, maybe your basement or something like that. Okay, I've got these nukes tipped on their side here. Uh, so that there's a screen um, <coughs> up top and uh, like I said I've got the candy for them I've treated them and now I'll just uh, I'll just give them a little bit of candy right on the screen and they can come up and take what they need Now you could put some white paper underneath the, the screen on the bottom side of these um, and just check out your mite count if you want. Um, I didn't do that. Okay. Uh, tomorrow we will house these in um, two nukes and uh, let them go. I was kind of hoping to boost one of my actual colonies with these bees, but... Uh, uh, finding those two uh, mating nukes with queens in both of them. Uh, I got to do what I got to do there. So, okay. See you tomorrow.